Hey there guys, my name is Christy and I am going to be taking you through step by step doing portrait shoots using different types of fabrics. So I'm going to first start off with the fabrics that I would ideally stay away from. Anything that has too much color or the patterns itself when you open it up is too busy, it's not going to work. You won't, your eye won't know where to look when the actual, the final picture is out. I avoid using color just because there's enough going on in the picture, um, especially if you're gonna be doing black and white works really well with these fabric shoots. So color isn't a major factor. I'm gonna be, I'm wearing this today because I will be doing a portrait shoot with this fabric. So, cause they're all similar colors. Um, but this fabric, as pretty as it is, the patterns, they are a bit busy, okay? And also it's a very slippery fabric. So any fabric where it just kind of falls apart and rolls like this, you are going to struggle to work with because you have to throw it over your model and you want it to pass your model's shoulders so that you can't see the background, what's behind them. If your fabric is sliding everywhere or picking up, you're going to start seeing gaps and it's just, it can be quite a pain to work with, especially if it's windy. Yeah. The same thing, it's very slippery. Um, it is more the wedding vibes. I, I thought that this would be wonderful to work with just because it's got the bigger, um, these lines over here. But it's also, it's so busy and this fabric is a nightmare to work with because it just flies in front of the camera. Um, and it's nice to get some distance from your model so that you can see the fabric and you can see the model. This is another fabric that I got and it's also very slippery, <laughs> difficult to work with. These patterns don't really work well at all. Anything where you've got the paisley, the flowers, again this fabric as well. Um, it's more of a netting. It's too busy. This is just too busy. So you can get very um, pretty pictures with it more for as I said the wedding vibes but for those the portrait shoots where you want them to be impactful the fabrics that I've just shown you won't work is the, okay this one is by far my favorite it's in pretty much all my portrait shoots the holes are the perfect size they could even be a bit bigger um, and it's, it's a very simple design it's not, there's nothing busy about it and when you're working with it, it's not that slippery. So it's got almost a um, sticky kind of texture which is great so it doesn't slide around everywhere and works great in wind as well. This is also a very interesting texture to work with. <clears throat> These patterns create a very unique um, shadows on a person's face. So if you're working with a model who has quite sharp cheekbones and just uh, structures in their face the shadows of this is just gonna almost enhance everything and it just makes it look incredible um, this does not work with all face types obviously because these are very sharp um, your sharp ends in this one so I'm gonna be taking pictures this fabric um, these holes are too small okay you can see they're very fine and I mean you can get reasonable pictures out of it but it's not not the same as obviously something like this okay so let's if you compare these two here it's just a lot of netting and it's very busy and this is just yeah perfect perfect this fabric it's also quite slippery um, and busy however I have gotten Quite, a, quite nice pictures from it um, but the model was wearing black so I would suggest when you do this that the model wears either black or white um, or beige but you don't want to do too much color unless you're looking for that pop of color this is a very interesting fabric because I personally don't really like it <laughs> um, I have taken a picture with it and it, the picture actually did quite well but I just found it was way too harsh and working with the person's face. All you can see is just the fabric and the shadow of the fabric and the person's face just kind of disappears. Um, I did make it a black and white photo and it's, yeah, I mean, look, 
I just don't like the patterns. I'm not a big fan of the patterns, but I wanted to buy all different types of patterns so I could see what works best. Now I mentioned earlier in the video that this is not a nice fabric to work with. It's, it's not great. It really isn't. I don't like the color of it. Um, but I did get one picture where if you don't get the fabric itself in, but just the pattern, it's got a beautiful flower. And um, it's, yeah, it's, it's that over there. And it made, um, it, it did look beautiful, but also very busy. So the pictures I'm going to be doing today is going to be with the Hessian. We're going to do one with this turquoise. And then one of my favorite ones. Uh, this doesn't work with my face shape very well, but we're going to try it anyway. And then of course my absolute favorite one. Um, and then I'm going to do this this one so you can see what I mean with how difficult it is to work with and then we'll also do this one as well um, so quite a few pictures that we're going to be taking I'll show you how you're going to be posing the model with it it, it is just me so it's going to be quite interesting doing the video with just me but anyway you'll get an idea and I'll try my best to explain it as easy as I can. At midday is not the best time because you don't want the sun coming from directly above. It is better if it's later afternoon around 2 or 3 o'clock. I find that's a very good time. So you're going to want to face... Now, now this fabric that I'm using is on the border of being terrible to work with and also, I'm enjoying it because of its color, but it's, it's very flimsy, so it's making it very difficult to keep it behind me, to cover out the background, and obviously to keep it away from the camera lens with this wind. So when it comes to posing the model, have them look up towards the sun, people with lighter color eyes, just pose them first with closed eyes, and then count them down and ask them to open their eyes and look up to the sun so that you get that glinting in the sun. You can choose if you want to do it sideways, or if you want the model to hold it back behind their head like this. Um, it's always good to play around and just see what works best for the model as well because each fabric pattern will work very differently with each shape face. Um, some more flattering than others. So I've never worked with this pattern with me before so I don't know how it's going to turn out but I'm going to be taking a picture and, and just seeing if also midday if, if I'm going to get anything decent. So, same thing, I don't know if you can see, yeah, this fabric is really, really difficult to try and work with. Um, it's just going to keep getting in the way. I mean, the times I have tried to use it, it's, it's a bit struggle because these catch. It's very fine, it catches on everything. Fabric I'm also not too crazy about, just because the patterns are very busy. So. Yeah, the sun keeps disappearing behind the clouds, but you'll see it's a very busy pattern. Can you guys also see how the color is just obviously not working? I mean, these colors don't go, but even with the white, this color was too much. Um, it would only really work with the turquoise, just because everything's the same color, or if I just make everything black and white. Um, so hence why you should try have neutral colors with these types of shoots or even um, boudoir style would be beautiful underneath this. Okay, so a mistake that I made with this uh, material is that I only got a one meter by one meter. When you are shopping for it, especially if you're going to, so I get everything at Shamdor, which is in North Riding, but if you go to a fabric shop, just try get a minimum of two meters. Uh, three meters is a good length, maybe a bit too long, but one meter is definitely too short. I can only, as you can see, go so far. You can see everything behind me. Whereas if I come, so I'll be able to do very close up shots. Um, I don't know, my hair is taking a beating from the wind and the fabric and everything, so just excuse it. But, um, so if you see the, the patterns on my face, um, it's actually very pretty on the arm and I'm sure in certain light it's it's not too bad. I think I was being a bit um, critical of it earlier. Um, so I'm working with Hessian now. As you can see it's it doesn't really bring too many patterns on the face. It's a lot more simple um, but I can find in certain situations it is just the most beautiful fabric to work with and I will always try have some available to me whenever I'm doing portrait shots just because of the range that I, I have with it. This is 
my second best fabric. The only thing is, because it's quite a fine fabric, it catches on everything, so my hair clips, it's catching on the tripod, the camera. Um, but I'm going to just put my top down so you can just see my shoulders for this picture because I think the green may interfere too much. I'll do one with the green and then without. Um, but yes, you can see the, the shadows on my face are much more defined. And you'll see what I mean with a person with sharp features, how it just will accentuate their features. So I'm going to be working with my favorite fabric. Um, it's a bit easier to work with in the wind. Um, as you can see, it's not flopping around as much as the others and it's been just as windy. Patterns on my face and on my chest. Oh, sorry, my hair is... See, I love it. I, I just love the simplicity of it. Um, and now at the moment my eyes are struggling just because of the time of day the sun is so harsh but ideally I want to get it so it just glints into my into my eye to pick up the green um, but it's it's very difficult to pull a normal face and stare at the sun um, so so it's best to do this in the later afternoon when the light isn't so harsh um, but yes this fabric is my absolute favorite to work with <laughs> 